Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this series of videos, I'll talk about some important concepts regarding putting transformers in parallel. So in part one, I'll talk about just an overview, some of the things to consider when you have transformers in parallel. Then part two, three, and four, and so on and so forth, I will talk about some different scenarios. So, like I stated in this video, I'll just talk about an overview. Then in other videos, you know, we'll talk. Well, I'll I'll show like an example with two transformers in parallel connected in parallel to serve load. They have same impedances, same ratios, same KVA or MVA. Then different KVA or different MVA, and we'll see how the load sharing, you know is divided across the transformers that are in parallel. In other video, I'll talk about the same impedances, different ratios, then same KVA and different KVA or MVA. So when we talk about KVA, it depends, you know, sometimes if you, you know, you might have MVA instead of KVA. So then these are just more examples, you know, just that way we can see the impact of these parameters on transformer parallel, you know, you know, rate impedances, ratios, and KVA or MVA. And also, let me just get the laser pointer. Okay, so delta delta or YY basically they have zero phase shift, you know, between the primary and secondary these they cannot put in parallel with delta y or y delta because delta y or y delta they have a, an inherent 30 degree phase shift and if you put them in parallel as we'll see in an example they will have you will have circulating vars or circulating current so in this video i'll just give a, a quick overview then in the following videos I'll talk about some I'll give you examples you know different with different parameters so why would you put transformers in parallel well probably you have an existing transformer and the load is really growing you know it's increasing in the area and you really don't want to take the outage to put a new transformer you know like uh, with a large size because you know outage means the you have to serve the load from someone else probably you don't have enough time capabilities in the area so you can keep that transformer in service and install another transformer kind of adjacent to it then tie them in parallel in that case you will have to take an outage but it, it might be like a day or two like a quick outage you know which you can tolerate probably by picking up the load outside the substation or you put a mobile substation you do something you know also you can increase reliability you know two transformers are better than one in terms of reliability because if one transformer fails now that load has to be picked up somewhere else if you don't have tie-in capabilities then that load basically is going to be lost you know and you have to put you have to bring a spare transformer or a mobile that takes time and also it costs operating and maintenance uh, you know dollars you know so those are things you know to keep in mind performing maintenance on one transformer you know if you have one transformer you know, I mean, you have to do ma routine maintenance, you know, like every six year, uh, six months or every year or every six years. It depends on the age of the transformer and other things. You know, if it's showing like signs of some issues, obviously you're going to monitor it closely, you know. So, but if say like you want to maintain it, you know, you have to take it out of service. Again, you have to pick up that load uh, some somehow. But if you have two transformers, 
you know, you can take one out of service while the other transformer is picking up the load or some of the load. <clears throat> At least if it can pick up some load, then the rest of the load probably can be picked up outside, you know, in, you know. So, and sometimes, you know, you have a ring bus or a break and a half and you have a, one transformer and it's, Either that, that transformer is kind of getting overloaded, you know, and, you know, you, you can add another transformer, you know, to kind of mitigate that overload. Obviously, these two transformers will be in parallel, you know. <clears throat> so, just kind of <clears throat> some concepts here. So, You know, you might see this, you know, you have transformer one, transformer two, and you see here's the high side, low side, and you see the high side of each transformer are tied together, low sides are tied together. And I'm assuming here per unit, you know, that's why that's why you see the total current IT is coming in. So it goes as I1 through transformer one and I2 through transformer two. And it comes out as IT or total current. But if you have a three phase, but if you have three tra uh, three phase transformers, obviously this is what you are looking at. Something like this: you have a delta Y, so transformer one, a delta Y transformer two, and you have the high side H1, H2, H3 bushings, X1, X2, X3. You know, kind of col color coded it, and you can see it's kind of a mess. So H, the H1 terminals are connected in blue, so that tied together, then X1s are tied together, because that way they're in parallel. Then H2s are connected together with a black color, the same thing on the low side, and H3 in green. So what I circled here and here, that's what you see here, you know. So instead of three phase, I'm just showing single phase here or single line, you know, because it's more clean, it's cleaner and easier to to follow. However, just keep in mind this might be three phase rather than single phase. So having different ratios, turn ratios will result in circulating current flow between the parallel transformers. So that's very important to remember. When you have two transformers that are parallel, you know, whether they have a low LTC, low tap changer or de-energized tap changer, you know, it's important to have those transformers, they have the same terms of ratio. Otherwise, you will result in causing circulating basically uh, uh, current, you know, like you will have current that will just circulate in the kind of closed loop, you know, and that can cause the transformer to overheat and other problems, basically. In other words, the transformer basically said like transformer one will have to carry I1 plus the circulating current, which might be higher than it's rating, you know, what it can handle, so it can cause some damage. So, so that's important to remember. Then, if the if the transformers have different imped impedances, the transformers with lower impedances would be would have most of the loading, and in some cases they could be overloaded, as we'll see in some examples. It, it just depends on the load they're serving, you know. And just keep in mind, you know, when we say the transformer has 7% impedance, well, uh, by industry, if we take IEEE, for instance, IEEE allows a tolerance of 7.5%, you know, for two winding transformers. Um, but if you have a three winding or auto transformer, the tolerance is 10%. That means if you specify a 7% impedance, the manufacturer will design it or will build the transformer such that the impedance is seven plus uh, plus or minus ten percent that's the tolerance 
So they may not, even if you you say, I want two transforms, you know, with, you know, you send the same specific specification, basically. Transformer one and two, they, they the impedances might be slightly different just because it depends on geometry and, you know, other criteria, you know, that's a different uh, topic. So they may not, even if they are designed by the same manufacturer, the same winder, the same machine, uh, you know, the same specification, they, they may not have exact, the exact impedances. You know, there is a tolerance, basically what I'm trying to say. So you want to have the same phasing when you connect transformers in parallel, same polarity. You know, polarity means subtractive versus uh, uh, additive. Delta uh, delta and YY, they can be connected in parallel because there is zero phase shift uh, between primary and secondary of the transformers. If you have delta Y and YY or delta delta, those, it's not recommended that they are connected in parallel because delta Y has a 30, phase, a 30 degree phase shift, YY has zero, delta delta has zero so you will have a phase shift you know difference and it will cause some circulating current as we will see so kind of recap in this video part one i just kind of gave a quick overview of transform parallelism in the next video i'll talk about parallelism two transformers you know with same impedances same terms of ratios Case one will do same KVA or NVA, and case two will do different, they have different KVAs or NVAs. Thank you and have a great day.